Hi everyone, my name is Walter Rowe. I'm a Capture One affiliate, and today I want to talk about traveling with Capture One. When we work with Capture One, we can work with sessions or we can work with, with catalogs. Sessions are very portable, they're very resilient. You can copy a session folder from one place to another, open it in the new location, and everything just opens because all of the paths are relative to the session folder. With catalogs, we have two types of catalogs. We have stored catalogs and we have referenced catalogs. A referenced catalog references images stored in a location outside the catalog folder. They could be in another folder on your computer, they can be on an external hard disk. Wherever they're referenced, that's where Capture One looks for them. Capture One knows the volume name and it knows the full path within that volume where it can find those pictures. In a stored catalog, the pictures are stored inside the catalog folder structure. This is very much like a session. Stored catalogs, like sessions, are very portable. I'm going to show you this outline I created for this video where I give you some considerations for traveling with Capture One. Sessions and stored catalogs are much preferable, in my opinion, when traveling because of their portability. You can copy them from your travel computer to an external hard disk, and then from that external hard disk to your main computer. You can then import them into a master archive catalog if you choose to do so, or if you have such a thing. It makes it very easy for traveling. Referenced catalogs are a little trickier to travel with because Capture One really cares about the location of those pictures. And when you reference those pictures, for example, in a folder outside the catalog, but on your travel computer, if you copy the catalog and those pictures to your travel com to your home computer and the location of those pictures changes, you have to tell Capture One about the new location of those pictures. So it's a little trickier to work with referenced catalogs. When I'm traveling, I prefer to use a stored catalog. Sometimes I even prefer to use a session. One really nice feature about sessions, I'll highlight it right here, is because sessions are file-based, you can copy your raw pictures from your card right into the Capture folder inside the session folder without ever opening Capture One. So you come home, perhaps you're, you're in a hurry, you've come in from the, a day of taking pictures and you're traveling and you want to rush to go to dinner, but you don't want to leave those pictures on your card, you're anxious to get them onto your computer, you can connect the card or your camera to the computer and you can copy the pictures from the card into the Capture folder without ever opening Capture One. The next time you open Capture One, the pictures will simply be there. I'm going to demonstrate this right now. I'm going to go into Capture One. I'm going to create a new session. I'm going to call this Travel Session. Notice that I've created a, a desktop folder called Travel. When I travel, I typically create a dedicated folder for that trip. And I put, whether it's a session or a catalog, um, I put everything about that trip in that folder. It just makes it easier when I get home to copy that one folder in total to an external hard disk and then copy it to my main computer. So notice that I've got this button in a new window. This allows me to have the session open and the current catalog open at the same time. So here I've got this catalog, I'm sorry, session. There are no pictures. I'm going to show you that here's the capture folder. Notice there's nothing in here. I can go to all images. There's nothing in there. So it's completely empty. And if I go to this location in Finder, you'll see in the path bar, because I always show the path bar in Finder, that it's inside the desktop travel travel session capture folder. 
So if I go to desktop, travel, travel session, capture, that's the folder. And you notice that it's empty. There's nothing in there. Okay, I'm going to go to a folder I created on my desktop where I deposited some raw files. And I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste. Notice when I pasted, they instantly showed up in the session. I didn't have to do anything to capture one. I didn't even have to open the import window. They simply appeared. It's like a hot folder. I'm going to close this session and I'm going to do this again. I'm going to select a few more pictures. Copy. Go into the session folder. I'm going to paste. So here they are. Now I'm going to go back to Capture One. I'm going to open Recent. I'm going to open that travel session. And here they are. I never opened Capture One import at all. They just came right in. So when you travel, sessions really are ideal because it makes it easy to import your pictures without Capture One if you need to. But as soon as you open Capture One, they instantly appear. So now you can make all of your adjustments. You can add metadata. I really encourage you to do adjustments in metadata while you're there, if you have time. Um, if, you're, if your family is patient with you when you're traveling or your travel partners. Um, or you take some time early in the morning. Perhaps you're drinking your first morning cup of coffee. Or maybe it's late at night and everyone else has gone to bed. Um, take some time and add your metadata while it's fresh in your mind, while you have thoughts about the places that you've seen. It really is helpful because at the end of a trip, when you get home, all these places really uh, run together in your mind. And, you know, were we at this place or that place when this, you know, this particular one, I took this picture? Because the context of the picture itself may not entirely tell you. Okay, so here I will also use the import method to import into this. You'll notice that um, here's the pictures that were in the folder that uh, I'm going to say exclude duplicates. Now it's actually going to identify that it already knows about the first uh, several pictures and these are the only pictures that it doesn't know about. And, and here I'm going to choose my destination as my capture folder inside my session. And I'm going to import and it's going to import them. And here they are. Done. So that's a, an example of importing into a session. Now I'm going to close this session. I'm going to go back into Finder. And I'm going to go to this travel folder that's on my desktop. And you'll notice there's a folder called Travel Session. That is the travel session that I just created. And inside that capture folder are all the pictures that are that are known by the session they're in the session so I'm going to copy this session I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to create a new folder here just for illustration purposes I'm just going to leave it untitled I'm going to go inside that folder and I'm going to say paste item so now you'll see when I go to desktop, I have the untitled folder and I have the travel folder. Both of them have a copy of travel session. And inside the capture folder, both of them are the actual raw files. So in the untitled folder, I'm going to go into the travel session and I'm going to double click the travel session database. That's going to open the session. And here are all the pictures. So this just gives you an example of how easy it is to copy a session from one place to another and open it right up. Uh, you don't have to tell Capture One about the new location of the files. So I'm going to close that session. I'm going to go back over here to Finder. And I'm going to go into Desktop. I'm going to delete the sessions that I had there. And now I'm going to illustrate a catalog. So I'm going to create a new catalog inside the travel folder on my desktop. I'm going to call it Travel Stored. This is a stored catalog. Stored catalogs and reference catalogs are the same other than where they find their pictures. And you can have 
catalogs that have both stored pictures and um, referenced pictures in the same catalog. But it can be a little confusing when you do that. So here I'm going to select all images. You can see there's no pictures in this catalog. I'm going to import pictures, import images. Here I'm selecting from a folder on my desktop called Card Raw Files. I created this subfolder with some sample pictures just to use as an example as though I was importing from my card. Rather than in the current location, I'm going to say inside the catalog. Now if you notice on the left hand side in the folder section, there's an area called in catalog. That means inside the catalog folder itself. So I'm going to import all of these pictures. They're going to import pretty quickly because it's all on local disk. I'm going to select in catalog and here they are. If I go to finder in the, in the raw folder, you can see that the original raw files are there. If I go into the travel folder on my desktop, there's the catalog, but you don't see the pictures. This catalog is a, is a package. If you show package contents and then go into originals, you'll see that the original files are actually here in this uh, subfolder within the catalog itself. So this is a stored catalog. This is an example of a stored catalog. So I've created this stored catalog. The pictures are there. Now with catalogs, you do have to open import to get pictures into the catalog every time. Uh, you have to open Capture One. Um, there's just no, no other way around it. I'm going to close that catalog. I'm going to go back into Capture uh, Finder, Desktop. I'm going to copy Travel. I'm going to create a new folder here. Once again, we'll call this Untitled. I don't really care about the name. This is Illustration. And I'm going to paste it right in there. And you'll see that we have two copies of that catalog. Now I can open this copy of the catalog with Capture One. And there they are. And notice it says in the catalog. They are inside the catalog. So there's two now physical copies of these pictures in two separate locations because I have the catalog on my disk twice. So for illustration purposes, this helps you understand how you can take a stored catalog and copy it from one place to another. So let's imagine that we are now home and we want to import these pictures into our master catalog. So here I have my photo masters. This is indeed my real master catalog. I can go here and say import catalog capture one catalog. And I can go to that travel folder. Let's imagine that's on an external hard disk. And I can import Notice right here in my master catalog, it now says there are 10 pictures. And there they are. So it has copied them from the stored catalog that I used while I was traveling into my master catalog. And if I go and say to show, so you can't show in Finder because it knows they're actually in the catalog and it doesn't want to take you inside the catalog. But if I go to Finder and go to Pictures, Capture One, here's my Photo Masters. I can show package contents. I can go to Originals. And here they are. They are truly stored in the catalog, just as I said they were. Now, I don't really want these in here because I have already imported them previously. So I'm going to delete them, and you'll notice that now the trash says that there are 10 pictures, and there are those 10 pictures, and I'm going to empty the trash, and this will get rid of them. Now they're no longer in the catalog at all. That, import, that illustrates how to import uh, one catalog into another. Now let's go back to the session uh, model.
just for a second so we can illustrate that process. Okay, so here we have a session that we created before. I'm going to import the raw files from my card. I'm going to store them in the capture folder within the session. So import, here they come, here they are. So now I've got my session. I'm going to close that. And in my photo masters, I'm going to import session. And in that case, I want to navigate inside the session folder and select the session database and import the session. So now in this case, it's going to leave them right where they were on disk. So if I select this picture right here and I say show in finder, notice that it is showing it inside the travel folder of my desktop, inside the travel session capture folder. It has left it right where it is. That is a referenced file. That is an example of a referenced file. It is referencing right where it was. Now if I wanted to move these somewhere else, I could select them and I could drag them anywhere in my folder tree and drop them and Capture One would move them to the new location for me. Instead I'm going to delete them because I already have them in the catalog. Let me go back over here and delete this session. Don't need the session or the stored catalog. Okay. Now let's try an example of a referenced catalog. So let's go to File, New Catalog, Travel, referenced. Now you notice that I didn't do anything different to create the reference catalog than I did from a stored catalog. Catalogs are catalogs, whether they're stored or referenced or both. They're just catalogs. Okay, here we go. There are no pictures in here. Now this time, let's imagine that I want to store my catalog, my pictures elsewhere, not in the catalog. So here, selecting all the, I have all the pictures to import, Rather than saying inside the catalog, I'm going to choose a, a location. Now maybe I know that while I'm traveling, uh, I'm going to be taking a lot of pictures and I really would prefer to put them on an external hard disk. Now if I put pictures on an external hard disk when I'm traveling, I like to put them in a dedicated top level folder. So in this top level folder, maybe I'll pick a new folder called in the air. Maybe maybe pictures that I took while flying, I'll put in there. So now it says in the air on my external hard disk. I'm going to select these first two pictures. I'm going to import them. It's going to store them on that external hard disk in that folder called in the air. Here they are, and you'll notice in the folder section on the left, the capture one is pointing to the external hard disk travel in the air. That's where those pictures are stored. Now let's try and import the rest of the pictures. Notice that it says there's two duplicates. It noticed that I already imported two pictures from that folder. So let's choose another folder location. Let's go to the external hard disk. In, in, rather than in the air, let's call these flowers. Set that as my import folder. Notice it's on the same disk, but it's in a separate folder. And I'm going to import all. You'll note on the left hand side in the catalog collections that there's two separate import albums. One representing the first two pictures that I imported and the second representing the last eight pictures that I each time you do an import you get a new import folder or album I should say and you notice in the folders section there's nothing in the catalog but there's eight pictures in the flowers folder and there's two pictures in the in the air folder 
If I go back up to the catalog collections and select all images, I'll see all 10 pictures. This is a reference catalog. If I select one of the thumbnails and I right click and I say show in Finder or Explorer if you were in Windows, then you'll see that it brought up the folder where the picture is located and it's automatically selected it. You can see it's external HD travel in the air. That's the path. That is indeed where I stored those pictures. They're referenced. They're not on the computer. They're on the external hard disk. Here's external HD travel in the air. And just as with the flowers, there they are right there. So that's the example of a referenced catalog. I'm going to close this catalog and in my masters I'm going to import this catalog. Actually before I do that let's show you an example of moving a reference catalog. Moving reference catalogs can be a little trickier. So the pictures are actually stored on this disk called external HD in a folder called travel. The catalog itself is stored on my desktop. If that was my travel computer, it would be the desktop of my travel computer. So I want to copy this folder. I'm going to go over to travel on the external hard disk and I'm going to paste it. So now the catalog is adjacent to the pictures on the external hard disk. I can open it and there's the pictures. Now in this scenario I've moved the catalog itself but I have not moved the pictures. The pictures are in the same location they were before. Now let's assume that I'm back at home. If I want to import that catalog I can go under File, Import Catalog, Capture One Catalog, External Hard Disk, Travel, and I can select that catalog. And I can import that catalog. Now, there are the pictures that got imported. The location of these pictures, you'll notice, is still on the external hard disk. They're not on my main Photo Masters hard disk. They still live on that external hard disk. The next task in a reference catalog is to move those pictures by highlighting all of them and then dragging them to the folder where I want them to live on my main disk. Now, I'm not going to do that because these pictures are already in my master catalog. But this is to illustrate how you would drag them and move them. Instead what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete them all. I'm going to empty the trash. And when I do that, they're gone. Now I can remove this folder from this catalog. So now it's no longer referencing that external hard disk. And it won't look for it when I open the catalog. I'm going to look in here to see what it's looking for. because, Yep, that's gone. I can get rid of that. That was from our previous uh, import of that stored catalog. I'm going to delete that so it's no longer referencing that. This is because this is my real master catalog, I wanted to clean that up. Okay, so that illustrates a reference catalog, a stored catalog, and a session when traveling with Capture One. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If you have suggestions for other videos you'd like to see, leave those in the comments as well. My profile has a link to the Capture One store. I would appreciate you using that link when making purchases, whether it's a license or a um, subscription or perhaps a bundle with a license and style packs or just style packs alone. I get a small referral fee when you use my link for those 
purchases and that would be helpful for me and tells Capture One that you appreciate my videos. Again, I hope this has been helpful for you and I look forward to showing you more of the great features of why I love Capture One.